What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video, and we're continuing to talk Sweet Baby Inc. Because even though Sweet Baby Inc. began this whole war by leading a harassment campaign against the Sweet Baby Detected group over on Discord and over on Steam itself, in which all you had was a Cabrutus, an individual going around saying, hey, I don't suggest we uh, view these games. Hey, I don't suggest you play these games. Just giving a better curation system in which he is showing everybody what games they have actually worked on, what games they haven't actually been engaged with, and just saying, don't suggest you don't do that. After Sweet Baby Inc. saw this, they began a harassment campaign against said individual, just bringing more eyes to it and alerting people that this uh, whole group exists. Through this, they ended up getting angry, so they began to run to their game journalist friends, such as Kotaku, Eurogamer, all these other different gaming industries and gaming sites. They got developers on board to start harassing Kabrutas, harassing gamers, saying gamers don't deserve video games. Gamers are the bad people. If you're against DEI, you're a bad person, starting to slander and attack everybody every which way. We now have an update because uh, they lost the whole Valve fight outright they lost it and in doing so they are more terrified than ever so instead of trying to take this fight on even footing ground accepting that they lost because they can't do that they are now going to more of them and changing the tactic to go directly at valve and discord to get both the the, the curation page and their discord shut down that's how sick and scummy these people are you're not allowed to talk about them. You're not allowed to actually d direct people in any which way to suggest, maybe we don't do this, maybe we don't do that. No, you have to silence and take it in. But this article is sickening and disgusting because instead of doing actual journalism, instead of doing actual acknowledgement of anything that's actually going on here, all they do is say everything they're talking about is out of context clips, bad faith this misreading what they're actually saying on their own website and all these people are bigoted evil individuals that must be taken out but you know here it is from the game developer why are valve and discord permitting harassment against sweet baby inc steam and discord are being used as a home base for hateful reactionaries to single out and harass game developers that's right this is cry bullying tactics. This is cry bullying tactics 101 in which you have a concerned individual crying about the harm these people are doing, the harm. Oh, you can't be serious. Oh, and we, you guys need to take them down because they're doing so many things. Silence them, silence them. Instead of actually doing any journalism, actually contacting maybe Cabrutus or something like that, you decide to make an entire hit piece against discord and valve saying you need to take these down because they're harassing individuals and they're bad and you're doing bad and when you come through here all it is is this guy jerking off sweet baby misrepresenting every little thing just to attack steam and valve for allowing this to be up but you come down here while the studio's contributions happen mostly on a micro level contributing story feedback helping workshop narrative beats and writing flavor text and barks with the lens of inclusivity in mind their work has been reframed for as shoe hoarding and black or lgbtq characters into games for which they were not originally designed sometimes through intimidation it's a grim conspiracy theory built on out of context comments and deliberate misreading of the mission statement as well as racism homophobia and other layers of bigotry in an interview with games developer Sweet Baby Inc. CEO Kim Belair said the harassment they've been experiencing started bubbling in October 2023 around the release of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Alan Wake 2 with the worst hate coming from users on 4chan, Kiwi Farms, and Twitter. Twitter was the worst until recently, she noted. In the last few weeks, however, the harassment grew stronger after the group spun a Steam curation page and Discord server to organize and spread their conspiracy theories. The problem is with their conspiracy theories and also saying that we're just racist, homophobes, and other layers of bigots and everything like this, the Steam curation group solely existed tell people 
hey, I suggest not play, paying this, playing this game. I suggest not buying this game. I suggest not doing this or that. You know, saying, eh, you can if you want. They're not outright banning you from playing the game. They're just saying, suggest against it. All they're doing is giving a better curation to games that you guys have worked on. But no, you led the harassment campaign. Everything here was started by Sweet Baby Inc. And when they say out of context comments or anything like that, I mean, she was at the GDC giving a speech in which she blatantly said that she does strong arm her way in. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Huh. I wonder how we're supposed to take that. Not strong army, not forcing your way in, or maybe it's something more on this one. We work very hard to get marginalized talent into the industry to protect them the way that we would want to have been protected, to lift them up and to get them into an industry where they're too often shut out. And basically I think to take over, <laughs> take over, <laughs> take over, <laughs> take over, <laughs> take over. I wonder, are, are they taking over? Are they strong arming them? Are they forcing their way in? Are they trying to do any of this stuff? I mean, it's not like she said it herself. It's also not like she's called gamers, nothing more than crybabies and picky babies for not liking the stuff that we are actually putting in their games or anything like that. Not liking what's going on in the gaming industry or anything like that. And to just ignore them and treat them like garbage, not like she said any of this stuff and again it's not like on their own page they boast about what they do and how they do it we believe that representation is key to connecting players and audiences with offer a few ways to art your team and project gain the perspective needed to make it happen we're part of an inclusive and knowledgeable community of diverse consultants able to cover a wide range of cultural and sensitive topics our approach leads with the creation of joy in marginalized players and seeks to be additive rather than strictly corrective we do cultural consultation, sensitivity and inclusivity reading, risk and opportunity assessment, and more. Check out Alan Wake 2, where you boast about all this stuff. They're boasting about it. So conspiracy theories out of context, they're talking about it openly, proudly, acknowledging every aspect of it. So it's not a conspiracy theory. It's not out of context. It's what they're saying. But it can come down here. Despite the increased spike, Valve and Discord have allowed the curation page and server to remain online. Posts from the group moderators indicate the companies have warned them that content on their platforms may result in their being removed, forcing them to take some additional moderation steps but still leaving them online. Oh, the horror, the horror. As this continues going on, all they start doing is posting and complaining about this curation group, about what Sweet Baby Inc. Detected did, which was just show the world and say, hey, we don't, I suggest against this. Hey, telling, you know, the customers, maybe we don't spend your money on this. Maybe don't spend your money on this. But you can if you want, but I suggest not doing it. You know, just doing simple stuff like this, showing the world what you guys have been doing because of this, you guys are the scared ones. You guys are the ones attacking everybody left, right, and center. And you guys are the ones freaking out and trying to get them removed from every angle. Come right down here. Community and discovery tools gone awry. When word of the curation group Sweet Baby Inc. detected first surfaced on social media, it seemed like a joke. What was the point of making a curation page detecting games that a consulting company worked on, especially when the games are listed on their site? Well, nobody knows where their site is. Not a lot of people are going to that site. So all this thing is, is, hey, here's it connected to Steam. If you see this game, we, we advise against it. That's all it is. But because it exists at all, you want to know who made it more popular? You want to know who actually got people to go sign up for it? Because when it started, it was like a few thousand individuals. Uh, Sweet Baby Inc. themselves, game developers themselves, so many people went after this individual when it only had 10,000 followers at the time and tried to get his own account removed, have him lose all the games that he spent money on, and which Sweet Baby Inc. did all this. They began everything, okay? After that, it blew up. After Sweet Baby Inc. alerted everybody to his existence and tried to take him down, it blew up.
This is all Sweet Baby Inks doing. Nobody else's. And as we continue on, there's a bit irony for Belair and her colleagues who structured their website and social media feeds to try and make their work as transparent as possible. We can very deeply, uh, we care very deeply about getting more people into this industry and increasing transparency in the way we that we work. She noted the reason that we had public spaces at always to talk more about it and to invite people to come talk to us so they can learn how we can help them find their way in the industry. But here's the thing. If you're wait, so you're boasting about always being transparent. So why do you hate the fact that somebody's being more transparent for you? Just as linking you guys up to steam link it talking about you on discord why are you so scared about it oh because you don't want to be transparent you never wanted to be transparent none of this wanted to be transparent okay and now because of that you're crying out you're screaming you're blaming everybody else for your own stuff for your own tactics and trying to get them taken down so much so that you're now crying to game developer to start attacking valve and discord to take them down but all the while ignoring the simple fact the funniest fact you're sending your own troops into their discord group to try to get them taken down, to try to report them, to try to get them removed, ignoring all of this in which they blatantly boast about doing this. Sweet Baby Inc. is starting to send people into these discord groups. Sweet Baby Inc. is sending people into the Steam group just to get them taken down because they don't like being transparent. They don't like people actually looking into them. They don't like people actually engaging with them because they're so scared and terrified about what's been going on right now because they know the more people know about them, the more people are going to start rejecting them. That's the reality that's going on here. That's why they're going to their game journal attack dogs, their industry attack dogs, their developer attack dogs to go after gamers, after anybody that doesn't like what they've been doing right now to tear them down. It's sickening and disgusting, but I'm gonna leave it there guys Let me get your guys thoughts on all this down in the comments below if you like this video Please give it a thumbs up share it out friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now